Hi everyone, hope you all are well. Today's practice is all about moving, twisting and releasing the spine. This practice will also relieve a tensed and tight back from stiffness. So let's start at the top of our mats with a few spinal roll downs. Interlock the fingers behind the head. Take a nice big inhale and as you exhale, tuck the chin into the chest and begin to fold forward. Vertebra by vertebra, knees bent a little. Body weight distributed equally onto both feet and as you exhale, start to roll the spine back up slowly. Awesome. Let's do a few more just like that. Now you can also do this against a wall if you feel like you need some support. Alright, now come into the center, take the left leg behind across the right, coming onto the toes of the left foot, little bend in the knees if you like, grab the left wrist and bend to the right side. Breathe and open up the left side to more air and space. Let's repeat that on the other side, grabbing the right wrist this time. Right leg goes across the left behind and bending to the left side. Perfect. Now fold forward completely, wrap your arms around bent knees and then slowly begin to straighten the knees, pulling the head in. This also can be done against a wall in case you feel like you might lose your balance. Gradually on every exhale, try to straighten your knees, not letting go of your arms wrapped around them. Option here to shake the neck from side to side and up and down if you can. Alright, release the hands and moving through a few arm raises with bent knees, left knee bends, left palm or fingertips stay on the mat for support, inhale right hand goes up while the right knee stays straightened, exhale bring it down, inhale left arm up, left knee straight, right knee bent, bring it back down. Let's go through a couple more inhaling every time we open an arm towards the ceiling along with our gaze and exhaling every time we drop the arm to the mat and move through a transition. Do a few more on by yourself. All right, now plant the palms, hop or step back to downward facing dog. Staying here, pedaling the feet first, exhaling on each pedal. Now go ahead and add in a little torso movement, shifting the gaze to each side on a pedal. Now, staying static, left palm grabs the right calf or ankle, coming into a downward dog twist. Stay here for a few breaths. This does require your upper body strength. Stay strong. We are here just for a short while. And release into the center, preparing for the twist on the other side.
perfect now staying in the downward dog position inhale come on to the toes exhale drop the feet to the right inhale center exhale drop the feet to the left continue on your own inhaling every time you come on your toes and exhaling as you drop your feet to either side creating a little bit of a twist or a side movement perfect come into the center drop the knees coming into a table top position toes can be tucked or not and let's move through a few cat and cow stretches inhale gaze up arched back exhale tuck the chin and hunch the back let's do a few more and then moving into a few spinal or hip rotations inhaling and exhaling as per your pace here now i know this movement can be a little challenging for some of you but as you practice and allow the body to move in its own rhythm without putting too much mind or thought to it the movement naturally comes to you So don't get frustrated I have been there myself Now don't forget to reverse that rotation All right Now only extend the left leg and as you cross it over the right gaze at the left toes scrunching the right a little on an exhale Now this movement can be done as you like either lifting the leg or swiping it across it doesn't matter as long as you're crunching the right side of the body opening the left mid section Exhale every time you crunch and preparing to switch sides Let's end in child's pose staying here for a breath and then sit up in vajrasana inhale as the hands go up to the sky exhale twist to the right inhale hands up exhale twist to the left inhale hands up exhale twist to the right inhale hands up exhale twist to the left continue these movements on your own All right. Now release the legs from under you, tap them on the mat. And now your torso folds forward. Hug the knees closer to the body and then begin to stretch out the legs, keeping the arms wrapped and going as far as your com- comfort on every exhale. This stretch is almost like the version that we did standing in the full forward fold. This is a seated fold full forward fold. So it's pretty much the same stretch but in a seated form. Every exhale try to straighten out the knees. If that is too much for you just stay where you are and lengthen the spine. Now bend the right knee close to the body 
left hand pulls the right knee in close to your chest, right palm or fingertips go behind for support. Twist to the right on an exhale, your body will twist as far as your gaze, so shift it as far as your comfort, not forgetting to sit, sit upright without slouching into the right shoulder. Feel free to use a block to fill in the gap between your hand and the earth. All right, release and let's repeat the stretch on the other side. Taking the left knee close to the body, right hand pulls the left knee in close to the chest and twist to the left side. Awesome. Coming back into the center, fold the knees, hands on them. Let me turn towards you for this one. Now begin to draw full circles with the trunk of your body. Inhaling as the chest opens forward and exhaling as it goes back. We are going to do one direction first. then switching the directions. All right, come back into the center. Gently lie yourself down on your back. Creating a distance between the feet. Now begin to drop one knee at a time inward on an exhale. Hands can stay on the belly or on the sides of the mat wherever you're comfortable. Come back into the center, fold the legs and now place the left leg over the right, not too tightly. Drop the legs to the right side. Open the arms to each side, torso remains facing forward. Now if this twist is too much, please place a cushion or a block under the knees to fill in the gap between you and the floor. Take one more big breath here. And whenever you are ready, move the twist onto the other side. Gently release and now coming into the last movement of our practice, fold the knees, grab the inner or outer knee area. As you exhale, lift the legs off the mat rolling onto the spine and on an inhale using momentum sit upright. Perfect. Let's do a few more of these spine awakening movements. Let's end in an upright position. Awesome. 
All right guys, we are come to an end of practice. I hope you enjoyed this little spine stretch and twist drill today as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and subscribe to my channel. I will see you soon. Namaste.